Houston is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They make the stop right around the 26-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That was the junior linebacker who get credit with the tackle there. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. Here's an opening, the 10. Well, he was facing a big pass rush. The ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Get that ball, D. Let's get that ball. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Hey, look Two. Two. Touchdown, Cougars. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Houston's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball, but they have plenty of time to get back in this thing. Fires in a hurry. Interception. And the defense just picked up their second interception of the game. This defense has really been in sync during the first half. If they keep this up, it'll be a long day for this offense. From the 24-yard line, first down, Houston is up a score. Throws complete, he's got space to work, and he's taken down at the 10-yard line. I'm not sure if the back was his first option, but he got in the ball, and he was able to make something big happen. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he hits the PAT. A short two-play, 24-yard drive, and they put up seven points. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irby. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. He can't dwell on the interception. There's still a whole lot of football to be played today. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. Gets out to about the 31. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Come up the ball, Hort. Mike six. Mike six. Here we go. He's going to try and scramble. Down at about the 39 yard line. From their own 39 yard line, it's first down. Here we go. 
give to the tailback. Nice run to the outside. That makes it second and six. The option is all about timing, and on that play, the timing was just off. And that's going to happen sometime. So we're looking at another third down here. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Hey, check back, check back. Hey. And down he goes at the 37. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37. He makes it to the 35 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up second. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Tackles him hard at the 32. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. He's tackled at the 32 yard line. And he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. That'll bring up fourth and five. He gets it up, and it's good! And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 14-3, Houston. TCU is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Houston's offense really came to play in this one, Kirk. They're punching it in for six early and off. Yeah, give them all the credit in the world. Not only are they executing well, but they're finding the mismatches and taking advantage of them. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Got hit and still completed it. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Here's a little draw play. He tackles him for a loss. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. They're coming after this putter. And he's tackled at the 44. Houston's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. They need to show a little giddy-up now, because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. It's second and nine. Ball on the 45. Quick throw. Tackle around the 47 yard line. And he's 
tackled at about the 49. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. No, he won't. He got a hand on it, but it's incomplete. And they'll fail on fourth down. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Strike complete, he's down. There are three quarters remaining. The Cougars in front by 11. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. and they need to get it down to the 39. Throws a bullet over the middle. He's taken down at the 48. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be... It's a beauty. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. They complete the slant, but for 10. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Here we go. Point in the A. Gets it out to the halfback. They'll bring him down around the 31 yard line. little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Looking to capitalize on the big run. Now it's first and ten. They'll knock him down for a loss. Boy, did you see how the That was fantastic pursuit. the 15 yard line third down big play there and now they're looking at first and goal here's the eighth play of the series Touchdown. 
These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight play, 81 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling in that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 14-10. They'll bring him down at the 21. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Houston is up four. Makes it to the 22-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. And he's level at the 11. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's out to the 30. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. There's so little room for air on most throws, so when you can toss one up like that for a big completion, it can boost your confidence. Let's go! Steps out of bounds at the 40. From their own 40-yard line, second down. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The Horn Frogs will use their first time out of the half. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. This kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches in the big games. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. And this one is a beauty. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. The momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets rid of this one. Second and 10. Ball on their own 21. Out of bounds at about the 31. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he's taken down right around the 46 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Throws and it's incomplete. You got to give the receiver a chance to make the play. That was just underthrown. That makes it second and ten. Quick pass, 
Brought down around the 45-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He airs it out. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Gets it away. Wait a minute, he's going to throw. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50. Houston holds a four-point lead. Fires out to his receiver. And down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. And a quick throw. And he is drilled at the 25. Houston's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field, D. Mike, Ready. Six, one, two, three. to his receiver. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Let's go, defense. From the one-yard line, second down. Touchdown, Cougars. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did in their last drive, which ended with a turnover. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. We've played a half of football here. The Cougars in front by 11. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The stats are certainly not overwhelming from an offensive standpoint. These two teams averaging less than six yards per pass attempt. That's not really what you're after in the passing game. But a lot of it can be attributed to really good defense. I, look, you know quarterbacks want to take care of the ball first, but yeah. they also want to push it down the field. How do you balance that with this guy not a lot of room downfield to throw the ball, it doesn't seem, but he's taking the check down pretty quick. Yeah, well, and, and if there is no room down the field, and you see, you don't see very many open receivers just streaking. I mean, you, you haven't seen that. So the defense is doing a good job of taking that deep stuff away. But the number one thing is, if you're going to bail out, Reese, and you give them that underneath, underneath stuff, that, that easy pass completion, you got to tackle. And, and that's what they're doing. They're coming up, and they're not letting him, you know, throw a seven-yard route that goes 50 yards. And, and that's one of the biggest keys to defense. Let them throw the underneath stuff, come up, make a good tackle, live to fight another down. You know, I had a wise coach once tell me, teams do not beat you throwing and catching. They beat you by running after the catch. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The 
best seat in the house. It belongs to Brad Nestler in Kirk Herb Street. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. the 27-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's hit and taken down. That's a team of 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. He's in trouble. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. Number 36 makes the tackle at the 46-yard line. First down. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Throws this one away. He's going right. They could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Fires it out. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Has some daylight. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They get about six yards on the option to the halfback. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike six. Mike six. Seven. Three. Nineteen. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He's got it out to his tight end. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. That's a game of 10 on the way. That'll make it second and inches. Got a man in and out of his hands. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Here we go. Red 18. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at about the 39 yard line. Hey, 
Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number two, the intended receiver. That makes it second. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. Get to that quickly. With the catch. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want six on the play. Play. That'll, That'll bring, bring up third and four. four. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. And he tackles him hard at the 35. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Quick throw out to the receiver. That's a great tackle at the 46. First and ten. Ball on the 46. Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds at the 47. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll make it 35. From the 49-yard line, third down. He steps out at about the 25-yard line. For another, another TCU. TCU. First, First down. down. First and ten. Ball on the 25. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. Bring him down in the backfield. Paul lost his four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 15. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Bound to lose Let's go. Reds in the The 10 finds the junior. Big play, and it's first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Short pass play for the touchdown. Nice call down here this close to the goal line. The defense is thinking run, and they pass instead. And he hits the PAT. A nice eight play, 76-yard drive. And the result, seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in the receiver. So the score now, 
21-17. Houston's offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can have something happen, something to spark them, and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball game. Quick throw, and they'll bring him down. That's the 29. That reception good for around four yards. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. He's taken down at about the 41. Number 36 makes the tackle at the 41-yard line. Houston is up by four. Check, 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 check. That's three down and one to go. The Cougars lead it by four. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. And they make the stop around the 33-yard line. Number 16 makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. And he just gets rid of it. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He's on the run, and he's going to come up with a sack. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. Steps out of bounds at the 41-yard line. That's a smart play here by the quarterback. He threw it into the window to zone coverage gave him. Nice pass and a nice job by the receiver running the slam. From their own 41-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Makes it out to about the 43. From the 43 yard line, it's first down. Taken down at the 33. than three minutes in the game. If 
these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. This is the eighth play of the drive. Tackle for a loss. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. Fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Three down, three down. Fifty's the mic. Fifty's the mic. Ready. <laughs> And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Tenth play of the drive. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. So here we go, first and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Loss of one for the fullback. That is a loss of one yard. That brings up second. Here's the 12th play of the drive. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, TCU!
Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delay of game, game. Offense. offense. A little over a minute in the game. And he adds the extra point. A 12-play, 76-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? And he's got his man. Tackle at about the 49. That's good for him. Switch, switch, switch. First down. Ready. Blue and Easy, easy, easy. Rally. <laughs> Great concentration to haul it in. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Ready. He scrambled, got the corner. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at the 22-yard line. On the tackle. Check, 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 check. 19 yards. Hey, alert three, alert three. First down. down. Here we go. This one's going deep to the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. The kick is away, and it sails through the uprights. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. He goes downtown. Picked off. It's the ball hawking senior. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 27-24, Cougars. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.